And there we go. Whiffed it. There you okay. Go. Up. Yep. Uh, come around again with it. Nope. Ah. And lost it again. Ah. It's the bonfire, everybody. We're back. Comedy Central Radio, Series XM 95. Big Joe Wilson, Dan Soder. We are joined uh, from the Come Town podcast, everybody. The hilarious Nick Mullen. Hello. I would say you're the... Would you call yourself the brains of Come Town? Uh, no, I'm definitely not the brains. And the uh, brawn? Uh, yeah, no, you're the brawn. I'm kind of the leader. You're the leader? The right, pack yeah. leader. And then Stav is your underboss? Yeah, sort of. Yeah. And then Adam's like the uh, lawyer. Right, yeah. That's how it breaks down. Come town. Why? He's Jewish. Yeah, right. Real exactly. Cool. Because real he's Jewish, nice. and the Jews are <laughs> real good. lawyers and bankers. He so. goes real good, <laughs> real good. I mean, yeah. The car. I, I'm respecting the hell out of the cartoonist mustache you've been rocking for quite some oh, time. Oh, the because uh, you yeah, stuck pencil. with it. You know, everyone's making fun of me for it, and then Stav grew one. Everyone's like, "Great mustache." Really? I guess because the rest of him looks like shit. So <laughs> he does one thing. Jay just got <laughs> underlit real quick in a weird way with a flashlight, where it just came up. I was like, "Are you telling scary Obey. stories?" Obey. <gasps> Mustache talk. Yeah. Somebody said I look like gay John from The Simpsons, which is, <laughs> yeah, I know if that's your only that. understanding of who John Waters is, yeah, it's hilarious. That is it, but yeah. that's honestly how I know who John Waters is, <laughs> so I get it. That's not true. Yeah. I mean- John, That's how you found John Waters? Yeah, was through The Simpsons. Yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah. I mean, then I then I realized he was based on the act. It's like from the other stuff I saw, but that was like the first he's not time based was, on, he was he's based guest, off he's guest who? starring. I mean, I'm saying like no, John Waters. I realized the stuff he was in, and other stuff from The Simpsons. But what do you think John Waters was? He's in? like a fashion guy, right? No. no. What is he? He's a director. No, I didn't filmmaker. Know that. I just knew him from The Simpsons, dude. I just admitted I only knew him from The Simpsons, and you're acting like I'm. You're blown away. I think it's just weird. You don't know who he is. I don't watch. That his, surprises me. What films does he? Uh, he hairspray, did, cry yeah, hairspray. Baby. The original crybaby. Pink flamingos. Pink flamingos was the famous. That's the where they got the tranny guy to take a shit and mm -hmm. then like eat it or eat real dog shit or something. Wait, what? Yeah, divine. You've never heard of this stuff? No. Oh, you should check out John Waters. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you like pocket pussy videos, you like <laughs> Yeah, as we're also mesmerized. Uh, I mean, if you're getting lost in that, I mean, you might as well get lost. Dude, in we it. all were. This entire studio. You never was... saw Crybaby with Johnny Depp? No. Really? Yeah. That seems weird. I don't know, dude. Is, I, are, I was a latchkey kid that only, like, I had access to my own TV, so I, I didn't everybody showing me cool movies. Black Lou, John Waters? No idea. I mean, he was in the... He was in like the Jackass movies and stuff. Yeah. This is so funny. That I knew him from The Simpsons. I opened this with like, can you believe someone would only know John Waters from The Simpsons? And I guess that's pretty much everyone's experience. <laughs> yeah. We're, well, I, I think there is a key demographic of idiots that it hits, me included. Oh, where okay. I'm like, no, right. I got, I'm most of, there was a lot of stuff where I had to learn backwards from a reference in comedy. Uh -huh. Where I like heard something and I'm like, ah, I know that's, that's funny. That's why all these people now, and like it's in the last like year and a half, I hear people go, oh, oh that's a real Sophie's choice. And it's like choosing which child is going to die in the Holocaust. Yeah, it's plastic or paper. It's just a choice. It's, it's a simple not, choice. It's, it's a choice. A choice. It's yeah. not a moral choice. Right. It's a simple. choice. You haven't yeah. seen that movie. You, don't you know should what you're lay. Talking about. You should lay heavier stakes on a Sophie's choice. Yeah. If you're gonna I, go, go. <laughs> I go, goo guys, McDonald's or Taco Bell? Real Sophie's choice. Real <laughs> Sophie's choice here. One of them. One of them gets punished right. to yeah, yeah. death. <laughs> uh, well, we were. Uh, Nick came in and we were talking about um, getting on HGH. Mm -hmm. And uh, just getting, you know, huge. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Fucking, yeah. just a jacked soda. Uh huh. Ah, oh, dude, I'd fuck. All comedians should be jacked. <laughs> <laughs> if, you want, if you want spots, you gotta get yeah. jacked. Yeah, you gotta bully the bookers that yeah, give yeah, you yeah. spots. Dude, I you think gotta go the Berg route, you know? Yeah. You, you just punch next to their <laughs> head and go, what's up, pussy? Yeah. I'm available Friday. Aaron yeah. Berg's in the Joe Piscopo route. <laughs> <laughs> if I get so strong, they'll have to put me on SNL. <laughs> this guy's doing HGH, and this guy's snorting it. And this guy injects it into his bun. Either way, it gets in our bodies. <laughs> Did Piscopo what's H H stand for homo, gay, homo. <laughs> hey. All right, you're gonna love this crowd. Okay. <laughs> did you? Did Piscopo get big on SNL or after, after? I think he was really skinny for the longest time. Then he just got fucking jacked. Isn't that crazy yeah. that that's what he's known for? It's like. I know he's known for like his Frank Sinatra, but like our generation's like, yeah, he's known for being a jacked comedian. Yeah, and it was so weird. Yeah, uh, Howard and Stern told a story of like them coming, him and his wife, at the time <laughs> going to this kid's birthday party, mm -hmm. and like they didn't eat. So they, when they served them cake, their big thing was they smell the cake and then they put it in their mouths and spit it out or something Ew. like that. Like that's their way they 
they don't actually eat it because the carbs or whatever. <laughs> dumb. I'm like, That's what a so weird thing to do at dumb. a birth. I'm like, don't take the cake. Yeah. Don't make a spectacle of but yourself at a party. But they do that with other things. Like, uh, there's like religions where, you, uh, what's it called? Where they just like stick their dick in a pussy and they're like, don't move. This doesn't count unless I move. Like Mormons do that. <laughs> really? Mor- yeah, like Mormon teenagers, they'll do like a thing where, when I, because I, you know, I'm from Colorado and there's like a lot, of, there's much more Mormons than there are like Jewish people around us. Uh-huh. But a lot, some of the Mormons would like do this thing with like, it does, Look it up. I forget what it's called. There's a word for it where they like, st- you like stick your dick in the girl, but it's called you- soaking, right? Y- yes, that's yeah, what it's yeah. called. It's called soaking. Yeah. And they like stick their dick in and they don't move. I'm going to soak it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How crazy is that? That is very, very weird. That's so stupid. What do you do? You just look at each other and say things like, <laughs> it's warm. You know, it's yeah. really warm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it's rough. It's rougher in here than I thought. <laughs> oh, don't move. Did you just move? Wait, I can't tell. Am I shrinking inside of you? <laughs> what? It's like I don't understand because that's r- religion tells him to do that. Yeah, right? it's like the way. So like, that God's Catholic... God's gonna see that and be like, "You got me." Yeah, those are read, the rules. You read the small print. Yeah, <laughs> isn't that hilarious? Though, how many things have you ever watched? What like Hasidic uh, Jews go through to like get around the no electricity thing? Oh yeah. Like the phone, they have the things yeah. for the phones that like dial for you. You don't really don't touch it. All you yeah. touch, you're only touch, you're touching like a piece of yarn, and then like Rube Goldberg machines to like push yeah, a yeah. seven. <laughs> it's a real honey. I shrunk the kids. <laughs> yeah, he goes, All right, first number is two, and you got to push a, a marble. He goes. My favorite thing that Hasid's ever did was there was a gay pride two years ago. Maybe it's three years ago now. That it was like on a Saturday or something, so they couldn't go protest gay pride. Yeah. So they hired hired day laborers and dress them up like Hasids. That's not it's true. It's 100% true because really? I was walking through... No. I was walking through Pride. Day? No. I was walking through Pride and there's a bunch of Mexican, like, Hasidic Jews protesting the gay oh, Pride parade. I'm like, Shalom. This, I was like, this guy, I, I don't understand I, what this is. I thought I, it was, you know, like a hidden camera yeah, show or I something. It didn't make any sense. Oh, this way. Yeah. I'm the each other. Shalom, everybody. Because, you know, it's not okay to do that. No, man. Hey, can I get a mazza ball soup? <laughs> Maybe a nice, I, and a bagel and a schmear? <laughs> <laughs> Look at your tokens. <laughs> he's so covered in dirt. <laughs> oh, look, he's my booby. I know. Get in here, booby. I have to be afraid of the Schwarzes. <laughs> hey, do you have the rain money? Because it's already, the, it's already 12 o'clock on the first of the month. <laughs> so technically the rain is 12 hours late. Here it is. Jewish group. Uh, it's from the Times of Israel. We'll tweet it out at the Bonfire SXM. But it says Jewish group hires Mexico. Mexican day laborers, uh, an Orthodox Jewish group hired Mexican laborers to protest for them at the gay pride parade in New York. We represent the Jews. Re- this is bad gay stuff. A reporter from the New York Times witnessed the group of Mexican men picketing for the Jewish Political Action Committee, a fringe Hasidic group based in Brooklyn, at Sunday's parade in Manhattan. Well, good for them. That's yeah. So Can fantastic. you imagine those guys getting in that minivan in the Home Depot parking lot? And he's like, well, it's not drywall today, fellas. All right, listen. <laughs> Good news, bad news. What do you want me to start with? <laughs> bad news is you're going to have to wear this very uncomfortable <laughs> woolly clothing. I'm okay. so rosy. They're plenty simple. You go in, you make some moves, you scare the Jews, you tell them the Jewish the people gays? are here, the gays run, yeah. they go home and do whatever they got They do in their fishnicket closets <laughs> and suck each other's schmeckles and eat and over there and eat and out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want you, you to do? scare the <laughs> shit out of them. What do you do? Ah, sneak up on them. I want you to walk up to the fudge packers <laughs> and you say to them, get your schmeckles out of each other's tuchuses. <laughs> Stop dancing around and get back in your closets. It's very simple. Uh, Live in the closet. It's a big closet. Do you understand? Stay, in, stay there. Do you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> I think so. Ay, ay, ay. I don't know. They seem like good people. Dude, that is so fucking funny to hire mm. people to protest for it's- you. The funniest thing anyone has ever done. <laughs> and it's, I mean, they're the best at comedy. He goes, he goes, Anytime Jews claim to be the best at comedy, you go, you're right. This is it. This is the pinnacle. This is, this is blazing saddles for me. It doesn't get any better than this. At the Bonfire SXM, <laughs> you see the day laborers. I mean, <laughs> man, that is why God, and then they don't spell God, sent AIDS to punish male gays. <laughs> He goes, and it's delivered right here in me. Yeah. <laughs> he goes, you go, you walk up to interview him. You go, do you 
actually believe in this? He goes, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. See? I just do this so I can get my Winnie the Pooh <laughs> denim jacket back from the hairy man they took it from me. <laughs> I don't know. Mr. Fleischman told me I could stop building his pool for yeah. one day to come out here. He goes, I'll tell you this. I'll be back with a snack at sundown. <laughs> <laughs> Your boys worked very hard today. You scared the gays. <laughs> uh, dude, the holy f I didn't know that was a real fucking thing. God damn, yeah. Cool. I know. I'm so glad that it was covered because I saw it and I was like, no one is going to believe this. Yeah, especially you. Yeah. You, like, <laughs> if you walk around, I'd be like, dude, I'd be like, all right, sure, Mullen. There's yeah. day laborers dressed as hostages. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. Let's not get so. <laughs> yeah. Stop pushing your agenda. Right. No, that's like something I would pitch that would r result in me not being asked back to write on a show. <laughs> <laughs> you go, what is the last sketch I ever came up with? <laughs> so go, he became problematic when he said that uh, seeds would yeah. hire day laborers <laughs> to protest gays. He goes, that is outlandish. <laughs> it's been done. Take that to bright. It's, take yeah. that to bright part. Yeah. It was a water cooler conversation. I yeah. swear to God, <laughs> someone actually pulled the fucking trigger on it, guys. Don't make me. Oh, there's more pictures. Yeah, at the bonfire SXM, we'll tweet it out. Um. Well, we watched a video, uh, which is on the Lost Tapes. Yes, this will be coming on the Lost Tapes on, on Thursday. Thursday and you know our Terminator timeline. We work all fucked up. But we talked about um, fake sex toy, like fake vaginas. Mm -hmm. And then we watched a video. They make some high quality ass pussy combos. You guys are doing Moon Tower this year, right? Yeah. Now. Do, um, is Fleshlight sponsoring it again? Mm, I don't think so. No. Wow. They did a couple years ago. Yeah. You were there then. Yeah, year, right? I used the Fleshlight. I did. Uh, I was. I have a thing about like throwing shit away if it costs money. Did I tell you I tried to bring it through the airport and I thought like, oh, they got to deal with this all the time. And they pulled me aside and there was like seven TSA agents and like a manager and they disassembled it and like fingered it in front of everyone. Like, humiliated me. Did you? When they fingered it in front of you, did you react? Did you go? <laughs> <laughs> you go, ooh, ooh, gentle. They're like, we gotta check She's for wires. Tight. Make sure it's not a bomb. You go, baby, baby, it likes it softer. Easy, yeah. that flower didn't bloom yet, baby. Well, who's like, hiding a bomb in a pocket, pussy? I mean, it's someone that's committed. Be fucking to... genius, though. Yeah, yeah. dude, it's great. That's it? it's the only thing worse than that is hiding a bomb inside of a fake bomb. <laughs> yeah, instead go, of a replica go, bomb. Yeah, they're checking like, that No bomb. one's gonna check inside the fake bomb. <laughs> they're, they're, they leave room for because some of these fake ones. As you pump in your dick, uh, it activates the thing that makes it talk to you. Yeah. So, uh, so, uh, so a torsoless ass and pussy can go. Yeah. Mm, that's right. Yeah. yeah. And by the way, it's like the way. Can we bring up the video of how the they guy should sells make it? an Alexa that's got the flashlight on the bottom? You go, Alexa, yeah. download uh, Smashing Pumpkins yeah. and let me. Fuck Alexa's that sweet already a pussy. whore enough name. Ale yeah. Alexa, less teeth, more hand. <laughs> hey Alexa, uh, I heard you. Yeah, Alexa's definitely the name of a girl that blows a Circle K <laughs> manager. <laughs> hey Alexa. Here she is. Oh, this is the video. This is where this guy sells it. You're going to hear this again on Thursday, but yeah, it's, it goes a different direction. Mm. Oh, listen to that bass thump on that. Uh, it's for 212s in the back. To fuck the naughtiest little nympho that's ever talked dirty to you. <laughs> Introducing the Dirty Talk series of Fuck Me Silly Masturbators. <laughs> the first interactive fuck friends oh, from like Pipe Dream Hits that. on Toys. That's the fucking meringue. That's the meringue of sex toys. <laughs> it's all there. With a super sexy voice and powerful vibrations for an unforgettable sensory overload. Please fuck me until you come. Ooh, I love your big cock, baby. This is my favorite one. Squeeze my tits, baby. That feels so good. Squeeze my thigh tits. Ooh, my tight little ass is so wet waiting for you. Yes. Your ass get wet. Who's lying these things? It's always guys that listen wait, to wait, too many podcasts. The... It's, like, well, it's also guys like... Technology. Oh, here it is. <laughs> Your hot cock delivery simultaneously <laughs> triggers both the powerful internal vibrations and the loud, sexy, super dirty talk. <laughs> Nick, for as long as you keep pounding. Nicholas, your hot cock delivery can make that happen. <laughs> if you bring enough hot cock delivery, you can really rattle it. Could you imagine like, how you feel? Like, just fuck animals. Yeah. <laughs> you, I, mean, I would have more respect for you if you just had a dog that you fucked in your apartment. <laughs> Dude, just Shelby that you just rail. Yeah, right, Do you know yeah, what yeah. the bummer would be if you fucking shove your cock in that and your dick doesn't reach the button? Dude, <laughs> How much that would fucking hurt you? Yeah, you're yeah, like, yeah. I'm giving it up. Yeah, you got it against the wall and you're just fucking taking running starts at it. Ah, and finally ah. she goes, she goes, ooh, but... 
<laughs> it doesn't play the whole thing. Yeah. You're like, fuck! Yeah. 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 I have to go to sleep soon. <laughs> <laughs> I have Entering work in the morning. Sleep mode. <laughs> goes, I, I think I'm coming down with something. <laughs> Can you make the voice like a bored wife who's just like, oh, baby, I can't take anymore. <laughs> she goes, hey, did you this send it? This is so good. Did you send in the cable bill? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, the reason we bring this you up. Gotta, I forgot to tell you, you got to drive the girls to school tomorrow because <sighs> I have a thing in the morning. <sighs> More. <laughs> what about some hot cock? Oh, there's, <laughs> shit. there's a dog you can fuck. <laughs> finally. Uh, finally, a pug you can fuck. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so we watched a video of a guy. Which you'll hear on Thursday's show. Yeah, we're not going to play that now, but this guy, we watched a guy for, I think, nine straight minutes. But also real quick. You fake pussy, pussy ass with tits on top? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you fucking fake ass pussy and tits all in one? Freaky combo voice box I can't reach with my dick. Yo, I swear to God, you're about to set me off and my hot cock action's about to make you talk dirty. Um, he said, so these are some of the videos we watched of dudes just fucking them, but we realized that they're small. So they're like, they look bigger. It's oh, it's a child's ass with an adult it's sort of It sort of reads that way. The yeah. Holy Grail. <laughs> <laughs> what if I told you it was the yeah. perfect combination? That's what, I, that's what I want. A five-year-old that sounds like Kathleen Turner. <laughs> was, keep going. You're really stretching. All right, kid. You're almost there. Hang on. Wait. Oh, fuck. You're hitting the voice box. You're hitting the voice box. Uh, you're hitting me. the voice box. That's me vibrating. Yeah, if you fuck it hard oh. enough, a bunch of Virginia Slims come out the piss. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If I do real good, can I get a lollipop, daddy? Oh, daddy. <laughs> I want to meet Santa. <laughs> oh, can I so you have I been a bad girl? Oh. Play out that voice box. Play out that voice box. Uh, so we found this guy who was like fucking one in, in multiple different positions, and yeah. he really worked it hard. And then when he came, he's ran, he he goes the business. Wears a condom for the last third of it, and then we're all going, "Why that?" We all go, "Oh, that's going to be the easy cleanup, so you don't fucking batch inside this thing and have yeah, to go yeah. explain to someone why you're rinsing out a right. thirty-five pound fake take, ass pussy in a sink." You have to take the, uh, the voice box to the genius part. <laughs> take that into geek squad. Yeah, how do you? Yeah, you know, it's not talking anymore. Like I get eleven dollars an hour, man. You know? yeah. I feel like you don't want to come and hit the fuck. You just get shocked by the voice oh, box. Oh God! Go! Oh God! My car is a liquid conduit for the electricity. <laughs> so he's got it. <laughs> he's got this ass pussy uh, s stacked up on uh, four like banquet hall chairs, mm -hmm. and that's against the wall. And, he and, he fucking and he's fucking the shit out of it. And then he pulls out, takes the condom off, and then shoots six of the biggest, thickest ropes of jizz <coughs> right over. I mean, just. Dart boarding the fucking it, backs of the chair. It impressed the room. It impressed the room that everyone in the room was like, Jesus. And yeah. then we thought, because you have a, a, a show called Come Town, this would be a fun <laughs> Nick Mullen topic that we could yeah. get yeah. the call. I remember seeing a video of a guy who had these like enormous balls. Yeah. I mean, each ball was probably the size of a mango. <laughs> yeah. That's and a good ball. Yeah. That's a, a ball. ball. I'm assuming he had some kind of disease. Yeah, And he beats off and he blows, probably, it's got to be like a pint. Yeah. Of, of Is that fake, nut. though? I don't know. But it's like... Did that's he ring not, out his nut? It, that's not how it should work, right? Yeah. yeah, the bigger the balls, the bigger the nuts? Yeah, that doesn't make sense. I is that how it is? No, no. it's a kind of like hydration levels. Oh, this, levels is, the, this or... is the guy doing work. Oh, yeah. those are nice chairs. Look. Oh, oh. Handless. Boom. Pow. 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 Boom. Pow. Pow. Hey, you thought that one wasn't coming. Yeah. That was... There was after credits. <laughs> he um, laughs to himself. Uh, so we watched that, and then I started thinking. I was. I find myself to be very envious of a load shooter like that. Yeah. So you saw that guy and were immediately jealous. Yes. Um, I mean, it and, was impressive. He, just did, he did it handless. He well. did it handless. It was just impressive. All Maybe around. that was just a good day for him. I mean, but everybody's I, got one of those in them like once right. a month. Absolutely oh, true. And when very, they happen, yeah. it, it's it's like you didn't know it was going to happen. So yeah, you're like, right. whoa, whoa. There's nothing worse you than You never you... can tell. Sometimes you think, oh, this is going to be a big one. And then it's like the free glue you get from Ikea to assemble a desk. <laughs> yes, <laughs> you're correct. It is like that. And I'll tell you what, I... Uh, I often think that, but yeah, you get that one, and every once in a while, it's the worst is when that's wasted on like a fucking hotel jerk. Oh, it's for nothing. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's all for nothing. It's, mm. um, I hate that, but I am envious of that because I think, I don't know why I want that so bad because I've never even fully, is there a consensus on if women give even half a shit about that? Dude. Well, is there a consensus on whether we give a shit, whether women give a shit about that? 
I feel like it would be impressive to a chick myself. I, yeah, I don't care. I mean, personally, I just want that for myself. Yeah, that's to all shoot for you. It. Yeah, I mean, it's, you know, for your visual. Sure. Yeah. I mean, it's a sign of good health. And you know? a, a, the competitor in you. I want nice skin. You know, I want good hair. <laughs> I want big loads. Right. I want nice skin. <laughs> I, want, I want clean skin. Oh, I want nice a fast car. Nick Mull, the total package. <laughs> big loads. <laughs> nice skin. I want a money clip. I want right. fat loads. Eyes, time, time eyes that look right and... to your soul. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I think before we take our last break here, we should, I, want, I wanted to put out to the audience, and we could take some calls, that would be fun to do with Nick, about uh, either cum horror stories of too much cum. Uh, we'd love to hear from some of our, our women <laughs> listeners. That's the dirty that. version of too much tuna. <laughs> uh, it's going to be a lot of women calling too much cum. I, that's Those are balls. giant balls. I'd like to hear, though, if... Uh, that's if hard. women give a shit about this at all, if they give a shit about the size of a load or if, and, or terrible things that have happened because the load was too big. Guy fucking his wife's pussy until his huge balls slap against her head. What is that about? <laughs> what do you think that clip's about? Yeah. <laughs> That's like they're doing it clearly on the living room floor on a blanket that they keep on the back of the... Look at that guy's balls. <laughs> yeah, they're uncomfortable balls. That is a ginormous sack. So let's take our last break, and when we come back, uh, hopefully we'll have some calls. Black Lou's waiting to take your calls. Uh, what are your thoughts on this? Ladies? Ladies. Men, do, do any men find to be a burden having that power to blow constant huge loads like that where women hate it? Oh, like if there's a oh, you think there's a girl that's like, oh, my boyfriend just comes too much. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I'll tell you what. It really shrunk my manhood earlier when, uh, well, you'll hear it on Thursday, what Christine says right after we watched that guy shoot that uh, load. She might as well have been looking like, like she was looking at a I thought she was, Hamilton on the TV. I thought she was going to stand up and give her applause break. <laughs> yeah. She, he's like, done it. He's done it. That is the perfect load. Six heavy ropes attached, flipping end over end across the room. It's unbelievable. Um, so give us a call, uh, 844-COMEDY-9, 844-COMEDY-9. Uh, right here at the bonfire. We'll be back with the leader of Cumtown. He called it Nick that. Mullen. This is the bonfire. You, oh, it's getting stank. Uh, I'm just wearing leather chaps now. <laughs> I'm all, my skin's all clammy. The whole room's taking a different turn since we watched that guy batch that huge load. Oh, yeah, just, and the huge, huge balls guy. The huge balls guy. Maybe. I just feel bad about myself. That's yeah. Nick Mullen joining us on the Bonfire Comedy Central Radio, Sirius XM 95. I'm Big Jokers, and that's Dan Soder. Goddamn right. Um, so we have like. Uh, not, not a lot of people have called in with ideas about cum. What? No one pulled over? Well, we had a, no we had a bunch, and we and lost a few. No one's driving home and be like, hold on a second. Let me pull well, to the side of the road. The two calls we have, I'll let you pick, Dan, because you'll like this. I just okay. want you to know what they say. Sure. Uh, we have Haley from Florida. Oh, I believe that's a, that's a girl, Black Lou. Yes. Charles says, I don't think <laughs> girls. I don't think girls care that much about cum. I know I don't. Okay. Where we have Cody from Illinois who says simply huge cum loads. <laughs> uh, let's go Haley first. Haley. Hey. Hey. Hi. Hi, Haley. She's like, oh my hey, aim it away from me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no, not my eyes. Me. What's that? I can't believe I made it, Dan Soder. I love you so much. Oh, thanks, Haley. Yeah, I'll be over here fucking myself. Yeah. <laughs> hey, thank God we're getting that. Thank God we're getting that jiggly fake butt that talks to me. <laughs> Dude, I mean, I'm gonna got... train it to say new things. Like, I don't like Dan. I go, hey. you're the guy. I go, hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Dan. Did you hear that? I thought I was fucking this thing really quiet in the other room. <laughs> oh, sorry. I go, Jay, you're behind the couch in the comedy office. I it's, didn't the hear thing, you. it's the only thing that makes my dick big enough to hit the speaker box. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. Jeez. Talk bad about. Uh, damn, talk goes, good about me. I don't like voices. <laughs> I like you, Jay. You don't do voices. <laughs> voices are for Ew. children. Come is gross. Voices. <laughs> so, Haley, you said you don't care at all about the amount of semen released? No. And, I mean, maybe it's just a personal preference, but I, pers I don't care. What if it was nothing? What if literally nothing came out? Yeah, if it went like this. <sighs> yeah. Oh, that 
I guess that would be disappointing. So that would be disappointing. So you do care about cum. <laughs> so we can establish that you do care about I it. like you're like a cum lawyer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you go, if the court pleases, yeah. uh, would you say, you go, yeah. I want you to <laughs> shut your eyes. I'm cum lumbo. And, cum I go, lumbo. and one more thing. <laughs> now, I got a, one more yeah, yeah. question. One more question. Oh, yeah. I like the time to kill goes, now picture that cum dumpster. Is why. Now imagine that that little girl is covered in nut. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I, I changed want, everything. I changed everything. Yeah. I want you to shut your eyes. <laughs> yeah. Your dick's fully it's loaded. Hot now there's summer a little day. black girl. She is laying down, and four rednecks are standing over, <laughs> just dropping heavy batch. I mean, thick Mountain Dew rich. They're fucking her so hard they hit her speaker box. <laughs> <laughs> real women have also, I assume. I assume human they, women come with that. Also, yeah. Women go, in real life have that. They break her speaker box, leaving her to never talk out of the top of her half torso again. Yeah, this half torso. It goes, it's yeah. half now we now can I all want you agree to imagine that that, that foam rubber pussy was white. <laughs> yeah, it goes, now. <laughs> Picture it's white. I can't believe it. Who doesn't like cum? Everyone likes cum. I think, and uh, Haley, uh, if you'll uh, allow me to let Christine chime in on this one. Christine, I believe when we watched the Peter North video upstairs, uh, Christine was impressed with Peter North loads and mm -hmm. really said like it would make her feel... If a guy just roped off a room like that, yeah. it would make her feel like this guy was way into it. But that's not—it really isn't how. There's no science to that. I don't there, think it's interesting because it, the, I, I don't I don't want to say without a disclaimer that I have no idea. But I, uh, <laughs> he's uh, he's like gay because he used to do gay porn. And, oh, Peter North. Yeah, yeah. People were like, oh yeah, he was way more into it when he was doing the gay stuff. Oh really? Yeah. He had more fire. He had more soul yeah, in his yeah, work. Yeah. So that's his like. I guess I'll fuck this woman. Load. And he goes, ew! Yeah. I'm right. I'm coming on her to make her leave me right. alone. Yeah, the, the cum is like pushing the pussy. It, it's away. like a squid like, when he inks. Here. Right. It's his. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's his ball. It changes ink. color. Yeah. He goes, get out. He goes, mm, I like women. <clears throat> get away from me. Yeah. So anyway, Haley, just so you know, Dan, you your boyfriend up here shoots big, huge, heavy, thick loads. So I hope you're okay with that. <laughs> Don't wear anything black, I guess. Tell him to come by Tampa. Yeah. Oh. Tampa? Oh. <laughs> Dan, you're going to get some of that Tampa us? <laughs> yeah. But, you were, but we've already established that uh, if he came nothing, that would freak you out, right? Yeah. I'd be like, is this, like, actually happening or no? <laughs> you think he's lying? Yeah. Yeah. I've, I'd be like, are you faking this? I've shot sad enough loads before where I thought they would think I was lying. <laughs> like, oh, no, really? Oh, no. I promise it's done. I promise it's done. It's just you didn't see it. <laughs> You've also faked it before. Oh, yeah. Dude, I faked sure. it. Have you ever faked cum? Um, only after I came early, like, 20 minutes prior. Yes. No, that's... <laughs> I think... And then, and then later was like, oh, yeah, no, I guess that's from now and not yeah. that congealed... <laughs> solidified nut that's been in there for the last 20 minutes. With is, the exception of being like inebriated enough where you're like, this is not going to happen. That's, what, that's where mine were. With the exception of that. But, ah, I, th but ah. I, think, I think in that though, I think in that I tend to be more like, I think I'm more honest about like, yeah, it's just, it's not going to happen. It'll take forever. But if I've done that, if I've tried to pull like a sneaky, especially if me and Christine are like another chick, that's always one you don't want to give like a, a bad performance. Mm-hmm. To another, so I uh, definitely have kind of like slid off to the side and been like, "Oh, hey, let me get him for one second and just oh, like." Guys, and by the way, window. the bummer of that yeah, yeah. is you—you you definitely am definitely sacrificing my own enjoyment of the whole situation, though, because I do that so you can get back in the game. But that orgasm is almost worthless. It's just kind of like a getting it. Like, eh, is that enough to like just get back into the game here? Okay, yeah, you're good. trying to take enough water out so it doesn't spill <laughs> over the top. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that'll skim from the top. Okay, I'm back in. It's back on bailing balls. Yeah. yeah. You're like, okay, now I'm back. Wasn't it like you always think you can get right back to it and then after you come, you're kind of like... Mm -hmm. I can get back to it. Get back to it is not my issue. It's the it's the finishing again possibly could not happen. Oh, really? Or take forever. I'm going to get back to it. I'm like, eh, why? <laughs> Stuff's yeah. already gone. Yeah, I'd say, right, you could possibly do it, but who gives a shit at that point? Yeah, because then you lose the, 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 the luster to do it again. Yeah. After you come, you're like, well, I mean, what are we doing here? <laughs> well, who are you fucking then? So you first, what the fuck have Get we out. just done? <laughs> <laughs> who the fuck are you? Well, they call into the show. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I, I fucking go, who are you? Who are you? 
like a geriatric. But uh, well, thank you for calling in, Haley. And I'm sorry that come means nothing to you. I like. I don't know if this is what I was looking for particularly, but our the male callers now seem to all just calling in to tell us what How a great, great what a great huge load of cum yeah, they so shot. funny that wasn't what i pictured when i brought this topic up. i mean this is kind of what you deserve though <laughs> it's not the it's not the hero you want it's the hero you deserve you're like, absolutely right about that you go, oh yeah bro i'm just batching hmm. non-stop action came across a room and hit a painting is what uh tyler in canada i think says. that's just and something that's from just the mr like, bean movie i think that's probably toward <laughs> johnny english just one, one of those fucking what's his name <laughs> yeah. oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. What's that shithead name? <laughs> Rowan Atkinson? <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, Mr. B. <laughs> How, who could come all the way across this yeah. room? I love when people are like, oh, British humor is so sophisticated. <laughs> it's a mentally retarded man that doesn't speak. <laughs> <laughs> a mute, it's a mute invalid that uh, fucks yeah. things up. You guys took Mr. Magoo and just made it so he couldn't talk. Oh, yeah. No, they don't mean that. They mean the good British comedy where people dress up like women and do something else. <laughs> Ridiculous. Chase each other across hallways? Oh my god. I hate it all. What is this? It's just Reddit I'm going through. You're looking through cum on Reddit? Well, there are a question. <laughs> Do you care about the quantity of cum mandolin? This is on ours? No, 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 no. I was just Googling. Oh, just in general. Mm -hmm. What do they say ultimately? We don't have a lot of women calling in. I just, I mean. All the dudes are just like, she goes, Shoot, dude, muscle just, oh man, one time I completely, about 90% covered a girl's face. <laughs> Nuts. One time I did it into a griddle, we made a short stack of pancakes out of it. <laughs> <laughs> That's how much was in there, man. Uh, I, filled, I filled three solo cups. <laughs> I, we called my ex-girlfriend Swamp Thing. So I'd just dump on her and then yeah. I'd make her walk across the room. And she goes, when I was done with her, she looked like, uh... Oh, what the fuck was the guy? It would have been so great if I remember the name. At the end of RoboCop, when he oh. falls into the uh, the yeah. toxic waste and he comes out. Yeah, Elon, yeah. Elon, was that his yeah, name? Yeah, um, uh, yeah. What are they, it, you're reading the Reddit, but there's, I'm a woman who loves facials, so when there's a lot, I love it. I love how warm and silly it feels. Oh, silky. <laughs> silly. <laughs> it feels silly. Give me that clown nut. You do feel pretty <laughs> silly. I want to feel like uh, it's my birthday. I want a pratfall nut. I want to take this call, because, uh, and we'll take it in one second here, but Dan from Connecticut says, load side depends on where you put it. I want him to explain that, because, yeah. I mean, does he mean, like, perspective? Like, I have a small load for, like, uh, like Christine's yeah. butt, but if I do it like a cabbage patch doll's butt, <laughs> yeah. it's an enormous load. No, I, I think he means like directly into her eye. <laughs> yeah, you're yeah. right. There's you no just open there's no that eye up. <laughs> oh, dude, get right in there. There's no too small amount of cum for a woman's eye. Yeah. I feel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Even a drop will do it. It's like Barilla cream. A little dab will do it. <laughs> hey. I said it's always funny because it looks uh, all, all facials look like women getting hit with uh, squirt guns right. when they're wearing Sunday like yeah. clothes. Like they look clothes. like they're at a fundraiser for the fire department. Yeah, they go, oh, you know, okay. And Dude, like, ah, oh, that's all you got, and you gotta. I sent uh, I sent Christina a video one time. Going like I go, this is what I, I'm jerking off to right now because she was trying to call me or something. I was like, stop and just like jokingly, I sent her the video that I was watching and. Uh, and I go, it's a great video, and it's just like a chick getting fucked by a bunch of dudes. You know, it's the, yeah. the cuckold shit or whatever. And it's like, it's like woman fucks like ten dudes or something, and then they all come on her face. And I was like, wasn't that awesome? Like, that was a pretty hot video, right? Christine goes, it looks like she hates it. And I was like, really? I go, I don't know. I thought she loves it. And then if you pull back at it, notice the name of the video was like, woman hates getting fifty cum shots. <laughs> I'm like, oh, woman oh. violently raped in public. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think she likes it. Huh? Jay goes nuts. It's, it's like that's Union yeah, Square. Yeah, right? <laughs> Secu the security camera footage. Yeah. Oh yeah. Do I, I like real amateur stuff. Yeah. I like what's really amateur. Yeah. I think a cop draws a gun at the end. <laughs> uh, Dan in yeah, Connecticut. Load side depends on where you put it. What does that mean? They're all wearing Steubenville Tigers jerseys. <laughs> yes. Yes. Um, I actually, well, uh, Fro has just said, it, it's really much like what you guys do with comedy. It's all about context. Mm -hmm. That's what really matters. And in the eye, it doesn't matter if it's a big or a little one. Any amount is going to be unpleasant. Yeah. 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 And you're going to get complaints. But as far as 
Oh, Christine's, right Christine's, there, eye, you... Christine's eye shuts off like fucking Rocky too. Dan, I mean, sounds, Dan sounds like a fellow cum lawyer to me. <laughs> he goes, Nick, I respect all the cases you argued. Uh, I just want to let you know that cum is actually assault. Yeah, I mean, you... Esquire does sound like somebody that comes professionally. Yeah, my name is James Baldwin Esquire. <laughs> I come a lot. There's got to be women out there. With the, I mean, Christine's Christine's got no, but Christine's got. Uh, your eyes are always kind of like a uh, itchy, rashy thing. There's got to be girls who are actually allergic to like. I wonder if like. Oh, if you could like be allergic, skin, but skin's so sensitive that if it hits your skin, it leaves. Oh, like you a got mark. like alien blood. I, oh <laughs> yeah, like yeah. when you open it up, it's all acidic. You came on me. Oh! That would rule. <laughs> that would rule. That's like what seventh grade boys think. Dude, dude, if I could come acid, that's sick. I mean, I think that now. I want huge balls and I want to come acid. Oh, wow. What a bad, the bad boy. Hell yeah, dude. The bad boy of 140 foot yacht, you know? Dude, money clip. Yeah. <laughs> Slap bracelet. That's something I can't have now, a money no, clip. No. There's no way I can afford a money clip. You have to wait till you come acid. Yeah. Um, These Reddit women are really into cum. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me you got that one clean, Lou. Got it. Yeah, this is, yeah. I mean, being part of the R slash sex community is almost as bad as having that talking pussy that you fuck. <laughs> I agree. You're I like, oh yeah, I spent a, a, the whole day just drinking tea and posting with my friends on the R slash sex subreddit. <laughs> Yeah, I don't really, I don't really go out or have hobbies. I post on the r slash sex subreddit she goes, about how much this, I love cum. She goes, my cum post from eight hours ago is getting a lot of heat. She goes, man, I went into a rabbit hole of cum posts. Uh, on. Uh, um, guys, I, I'm getting upvoted on my fucking cum posts. So Dan, that is what you were talking about. It's where you put it because you're right. On a big, huge pair of titties, a little sad weep. couple of drips is going to be worthless. Weep, weep. You got to hose those down. But if you're going well, for honestly. You know, from what I found with personal experience is the best way to keep everybody happy is it goes in, you're done, she goes, it goes out. She comes back, everybody's fine. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right. What are you fucking around? Yeah, hardware sex store? Sex is simple. The dick gets hard, the dick gets soft, it goes in, it comes out, the dick gets hard again, it goes in, it's out, and that's sex. There's a baby, <laughs> you raise a family, God damn it. you put food on the goddamn table. <laughs> so I'll tell you what happens. You meet a liar. A liar that tricks you into getting naked with her. You go in, you go out. Next thing you eat a sandwich. Then you've been married seven years. <laughs> and you know, you're up late night, you're watching Honeymooners reruns because they're showing them. Still, on you, give, you give a loser brother a job, he steals money from you, you know? So, yeah, I guess it is context the way you put the cum. <laughs> uh, ben in, thanks for the call, Dan. Ben in Colorado says he wants to explain how much cum actually matters. How much cum a woodchuck could come if a woodchuck could, could got cum cucked? Cum? Ben? Yes. And you're coming from Colorado. That's Dan's home state. Ben, also, immediately off the bat, I think he's another cum lawyer. <laughs> you can just hear the glasses being pushed up by his own erection that he's trying to suck. <laughs> well, if you excuse me. Okay, let me get these glasses. <laughs> <laughs> Let me move aside my thick law cum books. <laughs> Let me check the torts on this. Cum load to the eye. Uh, ben, how much does cum actually matter? Well, it depends. According to my... <laughs> it matters a lot. <laughs> they don't pay for less than a three-day buildup. They don't what? They don't pay for less than a three-day buildup. Oh, when you go to give sperm. Yes, I, if if I were to donate, it would be uh, no, no less than three days. Oh, so but isn't that? But isn't that based so off? off of, go, I was saying, isn't that based off of though the actual like, sp not the amount of fluid? Isn't that more with like what's in the fluid? Though I think you want more. Yeah, you need more pulp in the orange juice. Yes, it's a matter right. of the pulp. It's, it's not the juice itself. You could shoot down right. a whole it's, bunch of juice with nothing in it. It's a thing for the buck, is what Yeah. So you got to odd eat. When you go donate cum, you have to odd you can it. <laughs> you got to really you gotta summon pull, it. You got to pull it back and you pull it. You got to summon three days of jizz. And then you go, oh, you can. And you go, all right, take a look at it. There's a lot of pulp in there. Right. <laughs> a lot of pulp in there. Um, that's fair enough. <laughs> that's, that's, How about Kamir in Oakland, who I'm assuming is a, is a black friend of ours, says it's a culture thing. He likes to give. And tell me this, Kamir, what kind of cum do you like to do? 
Um, as long as I'm giving a bitch war paint, that's all I'm really concerned with. That is what makes me happier than anything else. Is what does that, that mean? Like three, does that mean like three stripes on the cheek? Exclusively fucks women that look like Marlon Brando in Apocalypse Now. <laughs> yeah, no, you can you you can get real precise with it. It almost like uh, Picasso esque. Wait, wait, like decorating a cake? No, I think like, I know where he's yeah, coming. Yeah. I think I know where he's coming from yeah. here. Is this talking about where you just make so you just basically you treat maybe her? Let's call it her tits. Or her stomach or chest, like your like your palate, and you put the paint on there, mm -hmm. and then you take a pinky finger. Oh wait, Ur and go in maybe and paint with the finger uh, where you'd like it to be. Come Urban, here. Urban. I, I mean, I, you could use you could use your dickhead as a brush, but sure, pinky finger if you want to really get in there. Well, I'm the detail guy. <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> sorry, I do realistic portraits, so I'm sorry. But, <laughs> maybe with, the, maybe if I'm doing a scenescape or an ocean view. I, I mean. What's um, from like the black bonfire contingency? Like, is is it like, is the the size of the batch is that a big deal? Because like that's what I was trying to explain. Like, I don't give a fuck how much. That's what we're it. asking. I just want to do with it. Oh, so you just need a little bit of paint to make a lot of art. You don't oh, care about yeah. having a yeah. lot you of stre paint. You can yeah. stretch a small load. I mean, it's slick. Also, it's slippery. Yeah. I'm a, for the war paint, it's like which tribe are you going to try? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Iroquois. Iroquois. Yeah, yeah. I will give you the paint of the Lakota. <laughs> Iroquois. For you are ready to have you, your face came on like a Comanche. <laughs> oh, I'm, uh, I'm real big on the, uh, even in porn, I care. Really? If a guy, yeah. I prefer the guy really hose it down. You want a guy that packs a wallop. I do. That's why people, but I'm not alone in that. That's Could why Peter North was such a, that's why he's such a known name in pornography. Yeah. Is that reason. I'm always like, meh. I don't really care. I'm like, uh, I'm like your, your favorite porn star is Small Load Tony. Yeah, I go. You guys don't know. You, yeah, they call him Polka Dot. I think he shoots little tiny loads. Oh, rain, oh, raindrop Maxwell. Oh, yeah. You guys want Gumdrop? You guys want Gumdrop Thomas? And they said it's sweet, thick, and small. Uh, they call him Indian Indian Tear Tom. Yeah. Bleep. There he goes. Oh, I'm gonna send it. Oh. Bleep. Yeah, dude, I, I don't think it's like, um, well, the war paint, the Urban Dictionary says war paint comes shot to explode the most powerful load into the face of some poor, unsuspecting prey. That's, That's a weird, weird way to say it. I don't like that. The result should end with a cum drenched in the victim's entire face and every facial orifice. Seriously, in the eyebrows, hair, nostrils, eyeballs, and everywhere. Let's play it out now. Dan, you want the chick or the guy? Uh, I'll do the chick. Okay. Give it to me! Okay, sploosh! What the fuck? I almost drowned. <laughs> oh, 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 dude, those girls never look like they're having a good time. There's no way women like a lot of cum. I haven't well, those... been seeing on Reddit all these girls that are like, I just love cum on my face. I'm like, are you trying to impress men through Reddit? Like or, as they read, it's a it's weird a... perspective to speak from. Yeah, or it's like a Norman. Is this Bates. guy at a music festival? Yeah, he's, he's <laughs> all day pass. He's got a South by <laughs> goes, wrist strap. This one gets you a meal. Yeah. This, one, this one gets you into yeah. the after parties. Yeah, I'm going to go see Imagine Dragons after this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm, I'm stopping in at the the uh, uh, Natural uh, Spirits uh, cum load. Yeah, I'm at the Tito's Vodka Cum Tank. Yeah, yeah. Actual quote, though, that was said on Motorboat, the Motorhead cruise we performed in the one year, mm -hmm. from a guy I know who was fucking a chick who neither of them really wanted to fuck each other. It was just cruise fucking. And the girl goes, can you try to come quick? Slayer starts in like 15 minutes. That's a great <laughs> sentence. That's a great sentence. Hey, you want to hurry this up? Uh, Jim in Detroit said, uh, come here. Thanks for the call, buddy. Um, Jim in Detroit says his wife is allergic, is allergic to cum. It burns her. Yep. Or is that what she tells you, Jen? <laughs> you know, as soon as I said it out loud, I was like, that sounds like something she told you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, I totally would. Oh, no, I'd love you to hose oh. my face down. Really give me a good fucking... Baby, you're going to have to go come in the bathroom in like a, <laughs> in very, a medicinal sense. <laughs> I need you to do it in this... Uh... Uh, Jim, what did she say? What You saw it happen? Well, first of all, it's pretty cool because it makes me feel like the predator. Like, every yeah. time I come in, they're like, dude, it's, it's a powerful feeling. But, so yeah, it, and she tells me, like, every time that it burns like hell and, like, she's always got to get up and shower afterwards. And, like, I don't know. I, you should I make, pretty much believe her. But You should make her, uh, right before you come, you should make her yell, what the hell are you? And you go, <laughs> <laughs> 
I think Wisconsin. when she's asleep, you should fucking cum write stuff on her back. <laughs> she wakes up with a hive that says idiot or something. Oh, oh you goes, jerk. He goes, I had, to wait, I had to watch so much porn and wait up all night to get that done. I only got to the O and I thought I was tapped. Good morning, Julia. Good morning, Julia. It's a very rare, uh, this is off Google, it's very rare to be allergic to sperm. Common symptoms are itching, burning, or swelling within a few minutes to an hour after contact with semen. However, if you develop a rash or an itch, itchiness after intercourse it's very unlikely to be from a sperm allergy also known as human sen- seminal plasma hypersensitivity it's like a nebbish jewish guy that he had goes into anaphylactic shock every time he comes in his pants <laughs> yeah, he goes, he's like oh boy it's happening again <laughs> guys yeah, someone sweet. get a pen get my pen and jam it <laughs> oh, into my heart oh boy oh no <laughs> i saw a pretty right lady my hog. <laughs> guys my windpipe is closing because i just threw a bunch of cum in my shorts <laughs> I mean, that's fucking... Have you ever had a chick complain about cum ever? Uh, like, yeah, don't cum. Oh, well, that's <laughs> yeah. That's the worst thing to say. It is the worst thing to say. It's going know. to happen, though. I'm the Zimini right now. It is funny getting yeah, you older, go, though. I actually... didn't, and then 20 minutes later, you're like, now I did. You know? But you know. I know the you truth. know. <laughs> you know. I, uh... I've actually done the mid. If you have like two false stops, you know what I mean. We have to stop to be like, hey, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> and you go in again for another like thirty seconds. You're like, wait, 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 wait. Yeah. That's when I really start. I actually start employing the hackneyed, ridiculous. I never believed it was true. Like start thinking like, okay, I got to pay this bill, and then yeah, yeah. Uh, tomorrow I got to wake up, so I'll probably set an alarm. <laughs> it's have on ever- autopilot, fucking just to give yourself like two minutes of like. Have you ever came? Uh, too early while you're trying to take that break. So you're like, all right, I'm going to take it. And you go, stop, stop, stop. And you're like, it's just it's happening. It's just mm-hmm. <laughs> you're yeah, just right. the puss and it's just leaking out into the yeah. condom. And you're like, yeah, those yeah, are, yeah, yeah. Oh, no. But those are the ones I try to ring out real quick and then Dude. jump back in the game. And then so we say, and then 25 minutes later, you're going like, ooh. <laughs> By the way, I'm a pretty good actor. At a real, I, I don't know if I could do it now, but there's definitely, like, I do a good, like, I'll even throw a fake, like, the, the like, uh, wait, don't touch it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Dude, I did that. Like, when they touch you, go, you don't t- don't touch. It's so sensitive. It's I, not at all. I got. I was fucking. I was the goddamn <laughs> Anthony Hopkins of fake coming. Yeah. Oh, oh. Yeah. Hi, yeah, yeah, yeah. I hi, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi, yeah, yeah. Oh, this things. Oh, it's still tickly. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, dude. Watching it, watching it come when you try to take that break. It's like you're the friend that got shot in the war movie. We go, oh, just go on without me. I'm leaking, man. I'm fucking dying over here. Oh, that was the worst. I remember this girl in Albuquerque. It was the first girl I ever had sex with on the road. She was so hot. And she was like, don't come yet. And I was like, pulled out to stop. And I was like, it's just, it's happening. <laughs> just, I didn't want to. I didn't want to. I didn't. Oh. <laughs> Should I go? I'm going to go now. I'm going to go now. Uh, Jim, I'm sorry to hear that. I guess, uh. I guess enjoy coming in your own hand. That's not very sexy at all, huh? He's like, I'm gonna no, finish. not usually. Do you have to put on? Do you have to put on uh, high rubber gloves like you're handling fucking plutonium? <laughs> <laughs> he puts on a thing. He goes. Let me put the welder's mask down when he comes. What it's happens? Cool. Did you guys try to have? Do you have kids? Yeah, we got three kids, man. Oh. So it doesn't burn her inside the gash? Are they mm-hmm. fucked up? Are they, like, no, just very angry? They're <laughs> <It's laughs> all heated. Yeah, They're yeah. bright red. <laughs> One day I'll burn <laughs> this world. <laughs> I'll burn it to the ground. Your kids are half you, half <laughs> allergy. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what it's like? Yeah. Do you know what it's like to walk around hating yourself? Yeah. Every day's a new nightmare. <laughs> the sun hurts. I, the cold hurts. I Is this up. the Mucinex monster? <laughs> <laughs> this- you want to know I was born. Yeah. <laughs> My mother was allergic to cum. We're moving in. We're moving in. Uh, thanks for the call, Jim. I don't know if we've learned anything I don't about think we have. cum today. But we talked an hour with cum with Nick Mullen, who yeah. hosts Cum Town, which you can download on iTunes. So make sure you go do that. Uh, fucking hilarious. Him, Stav, and Adam. Um, iTunes, Come Town again. And then Big J Ogerson is going to be in Cleveland April 26th through April 28th. And then uh, headlining Caroline's May 3rd through the 6th. For tickets and other tour dates, go to BigJComedy.com. Uh, Dan Soder going to be at the Rhode Island Comedy Connection April 27th and 28th. And the Loft Comedy Club in Chicopee, Massachusetts. That's April 29th. After that, you can catch him at the Comedy Mix in Vancouver May 3rd through May 5th. For tickets and all the tour dates, visit dancesoder.com. Uh, make sure you check out Season 3 of Billions, airing Sunday nights, 10 p.m. on Showtime. And, of course, get your tickets for Antone's, the Moon Tower Fuck yeah. Comedy Festival. Woo! 
uh, coming up April 20th. It's going to be a lot of fun, buddy. Yeah, dude. Nick, thanks so much for hanging out, dude. Hey, you are fucking, for having me. You're hilarious. You guys dude, are please great. come back anytime, man. Me, dude. My favorite show on Serious. Yeah, yeah, fuck you, Russell Serious. Jay, I love you. Fuck you, Serious. Love you, too, but I'll see you tomorrow. Let's shoot ropes at each other. Want to shoot some ropes? I'm not allergic to your See if I can hit you from here. Let's find out if we're, we should find out if we're allergic to each other's cum at least. I mean, we have to. I mean, just on a friendship level. Just fun. Just fun. Yeah, we're not. We're gonna be jizz brothers instead of blood brothers. Just tuna can our hands and fucking cum each other's hands. (laughs) Yeah. Trial by fire. (laughs) Jizz Uh, bros. Everybody, disclaimer: don't try that at home. (laughs) Or do. Or do it. We'll be back tomorrow. Crackle, crackle.